Thank you, Lord. Are we ready? Remember, we're, we're still in the court. We're still in the fiery presence of the court. You know, in another version of the King James of Isaiah 27, Leviathan is called the piercing serpent. I looked that up. You know what it means? A fugitive from the law. Where do you take fugitives? To court and then to jail. Why would Leviathan be a fugitive from the law? You know why? Because he carries out the curse when Jesus has already become a curse for us. That makes what he's doing illegal. Illegal. He's a fugitive. We have the legal right to take this beast to court. And that's what we're supposed to do. Because in Job 41, if you've ever read Job 41, can we put that up on the board, guys? Job 41. I might have to go to it, but. Uh, okay, now there's some other ones. Though that one's a really good one, but they're all good. Can you find the other ones that I have up there for? It's like Job 41, 1 through 5 or something, and then like verse 8 or something like that. And I can go to my handy dandy thing here. Let's read this. This is talking about how Leviathan in the dark realm has a lot of authority. It says, can you draw out Leviathan the crocodile with a fish hook? The answer is no. Press down his tongue with a cord. The answer is no. Can you put a rope in his nose? No. Or pierce his jaw through with a hook or a spike? No. Will he make supplications to you begging to be spared? No. Will he speak soft words to you to coax him, you to treat him kindly? No. Will he make a covenant with you for you to take him or your servant forever? The answer is no, 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 no. Can you put him on a leash? No. Now go to verse, I think it's verse 8. It says this, can you fill his skin with harpoons or his head with fishing spears? Now listen to this warning, listen to me. Lay your hand on Leviathan, remember your battle with him, and never do such an ill-advised thing again. You are never to cast out and rebuke Leviathan. Because when you lay your hand on him, you'll remember that battle. And you'll never do such an ill-advised thing again because he'll kick your butt. And everybody goes, what? That's true. That's why Jesus told us how to handle these serpents. With exosia authority, the power of judicial decisions from the court, where these serpents have to obey the official court decree from heaven that you put in in the name of Jesus. Don't get cocky. Don't be down here. Don't do it. People that do that, they get their butts kicked. I, I went to a meeting one time, and I prayed for this guy, because after I taught that, he came up to me and he said, my prayer partner and I met for 25 years to pray every Tuesday night, my best friend, and we decided one month to take on Leviathan, and we stood up, and we rebuked him, and we cast him out, and we bound him, and we did this and that, and he goes, and right after that, he died, and I had a stroke. And he still had the effects of the stroke until I prayed for him. He got healed and he put that cane down and he could walk, okay? The pastors of that same church came to me and said, Katie, years ago, me and my wife, when she was pregnant, we went after Leviathan. We rebuked him, we bound him, we cast him out and we had a miscarriage and lost the baby. What does it say in Job 1? Job says, curse the day I was born. I wish I was still born. I wish I was miscarriage. Curse the breast, curse the womb. They laid their hand on Leviathan and they remembered the battle and they never did such an ill-advised thing again. You are not to do that. You are supposed to tell him to come out of your life by order of the holy court because you are walking in your exosia authority that Jesus Christ himself gave you. The power of judicial decision. Jesus gave it to you. This is not me telling you to do something. Oh, this is New Testament, Kate. It's not Old Testament. I'm telling you what Jesus told you to do. I'm telling you to do what Jesus, how he told you to handle serpents. 
And that includes Leviathan, who you can't lay your hand on. How many of you have ever laid your hand on Leviathan, rebuked him, bowed, and cast him out? Come on, it's okay. It's all right, we all make the mistake. Come on, my people perish for lack of knowledge. That's it, liars. Come on. I'm gonna break that curse off you. How many of you got your butt kicked after you did it? Lay your hand on him, remember the battle, and never do such a foolish thing again, okay? Don't go around here right now and rebuke and bind Leviathan. We are going to cast him out by order of the court in the name of Jesus, because that's the way Jesus told us to handle this. He himself gave us that exosia authority. Okay, now, hold up your bread and your body. Now, ask the Holy Spirit, what trauma are you still holding on to? You know, a lot of times, Leviathan gets his legal right to attack us because we were raped or molested or abused. Or we lost a loved one. Or we went through a painful divorce. We lost all of our possessions. We, we lost our, our finances. Our business closed down. Our churches closed down. What is the trauma that you, are still, that you still feel that like you're, you're not healed of? Because now's your moment. And if you got bitter about that trauma, let's repent of that bitterness. Because that allows witchcraft to curse you. That allows him to come in and to enact a curse against you. So hold up the body and the bread and say, Lord Jesus, you died to heal me of every horrible thing that I've ever had to live through. pain in my soul is so excruciating it's hard for me to even breathe sometimes but I know you carried my infirmities and my wounds when you hung on the cross when I eat your flesh and drink your blood Life, life is imparted to every place where life's circumstances and trials and crises and assaults have wounded me. Your flesh was torn so that I could be healed. And your blood was poured out for my sins, like sins of pride, and sins of bitterness, and any sin that I ever commit is already under the blood. So when I take your cup, it solidifies my victory over that sin. And it also heals my soul. Because when I drink the cup, my soul is refreshed, nourished, and strengthened. So as I partake of you right now, my soul is flooded with your healing presence. My soul is filled with your power and your glory. My soul is transformed and made whole. My broken soul, my broken heart is mended and made perfect in you. I thank you that as I do this in remembrance of your great victory, I am healed. And all trauma is removed from every part of my inner man. In Jesus' name. Now just take half, because we're going to do one more. Okay. Say, Lord, my body holds the memory of trauma. 
it remembers that accident. It remembers that physical abuse. It remembers the molestation. It remembers the stress that I held on to as I battled to fight my way through that trial so I could survive. But you're the living bread. It brings life to my flesh. As I take this, my dirt body, my earthen body, will vomit out the memory that it's holding on to of that trauma. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say every organ that has been cursed because of that trial, that trauma, every bone, every muscle, every tendon, my skin that was injured, cut, or illegally touched in any way will shed out, push out, erase, and dissolve that memory so I can be well and healed. Every system in my body will receive your life, my respiratory system, my reproductive system, my digestive system, my hormonal system, my skeletal system, my muscular system, my circulatory system, every system in my body is pushing out that bad memory and receiving the living bread. The bread from heaven that brings life. As I eat this, I will never die. So I partake right now. Hold the cup, hold the cup, I'm sorry, hold it, sorry. Say again. I receive healing, supernatural healing for my soul. It's being nourished, refreshed, and strengthened. I rebuke every trauma. I curse trauma at the root. Like the fig tree, it will never produce fruit again. I speak to my soul. I speak to my body. And I say, trauma, you're cursed. You are fruitless. You will never produce fruit. Because my soul is being refreshed, nourished, and strengthened as I drink of his blood. Now receive it in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to stand up and we're going to sing a song. And then I'm going to do some other ministry. But we're going to sing because as we do, that spirit is going to lift off of you by order of the court. Now everybody say this with me as we stand up to sing. Say, Lord Jesus, now I decree, I will not touch Leviathan. I will not lay my hand on him. But God, with his sharp, unrelenting, and strong sword, will visit and punish Leviathan. He will have to come out by order of the court. The court is releasing a judicial decree because I have been given XOC authority to go to court against him. As I sing, I believe the angels, the thousands upon thousands that are in the Ancient of Days court will come and pull that demon off of me so I can be free as fiery judgments are released from the throne while I worship to heal my soul even further and burn up that enemy. Now I lift up my worship to the Lord in Jesus' name. Come on. Jesus, Jesus, 
Come up front if you want. Come to the altar. Tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence every fear. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Fire no 
out to the Lord. Will you shout? Can you shout to the Lord? Come on, keep shouting. 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 break that curse I break that witchcraft curse that's on you I break it right now I say that curse is illegal the causeless curse cannot alight Jesus has already become the curse for you I release the judicial decision against every witchcraft spirit against every sorcery spirit against every wizardry spirit against every Jezebel spirit right now in the name of Jesus now now I speak to those idols, those altars of idols that are in your life and in your soul. And I command them to break apart, to pour out ashes, and to become not effective in your life. I judge them right now. I judge them in the court of heaven right now in the name of Jesus. And I release power of judicial decisions against every crocodile, against every serpent, against every leviathan, against every dragon, against every python, right now in the name of Jesus. And I say you have to come up by judicial decree. Every one of you unwind. Every one of you unwind. Every one of you unwind. Every one of you come out. Go to the fiery pit by judicial decree and burn and never return right now. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you make darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you make darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, silence fear. you need to kick the dust off your feet because you've been with people or in places that were carrying that leviathan spirit it was twisting you up now kick the dust off your feet and break your agreement with that place and depart do not go back do not go back right now shake your dust kick it off your feet and i release peace peace upon you in the name of jesus right now somebody you're having heart problems you're being healed right now Heart problems are being healed right now. I decree a new heart for you. A new heart for you in the name of Jesus right now. New heart for you in the name of Jesus. The serpent has unwound from squeezing your heart. From squeezing your heart. Respiratory problems are being healed right now. Respiratory problems. Take a deep breath because it's going to feel different than it has for years. Because a serpent has unwound from you right now, right now, right now, right now. I see snakes that were on people's feet. They were trying to guide your walk. They were trying to trip you up. They were trying to dictate where you went. And it was causing you to make bad decisions. Those serpents are fleeing out the door right now off your feet. Now you're wearing the gospel of peace, the shoes that bring the good news. Right now in the name of Jesus, I see you people carrying around handbags full of snakes those snakes were wrapped around your money they're squeezing out your gains and your ability to prosper to get bonuses to increase to receive new monies to receive opportunities open doors to receive favor to start a business and a church and those serpents i see the hand opening the bag and those serpents are fleeing for their life and they're all on fire Fire. I said 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 fire. Fire. 
headache is gone. Wave at me. Wave at me. If look, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come on, wave, 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 wave. One, two, three, two, three, two, four, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, two, one, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, fifty. Fifty people, come on. Come on, wave, 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 Lots of people. Okay, how many people the swirling has stopped now? Wave at me. About 15, 16 people. Okay, all right. How many people feel better? How many people had water drainage from their eyes, ears, nose? Something like, you know, water, water. Raise your hands, wave. Wave really big. Lots of people got healed of trauma. Okay, how many people feel better in their physical body? Like you have a pain that you had before is gone now. Pain gone, something gone. Raise your hands and wave and I'm going to count. Ready? Some sort of miracle in your body. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 7, 3, 9, 41, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 50. Keep waiting. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 77, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7, 8, 7, 7, 7, 8, 7, 9, 8, 8, 1, 9, 2, 82 people, let's give God a praise. Yeah. 